Some people don't know that the more that you live for God, the more obedient that you are to Him, the more things that you do for Him, so on and so on, the more demonic attacks that are going to come your way. We have to understand this. The more work that we do for God, the more people that we lead to Jesus Christ, we have to understand that demons do not like that. Let me say this. Let's say that... Let's say that you are in sin and your neighbor is in sin. And you are attacking your neighbor's house. So what is your neighbor going to do? They are going to attack your house, right? Why? Because you attacked their house. So you can say, the more that you attack your neighbor's house, the more they are going to attack your house. So let's say that you stop attacking your neighbor's house. What is going to happen? Well, your neighbor is not going to attack your house as often. It will get less and less and less till it gets to the point where your neighbor is not interested in attacking you as much. Why? Because you are not attacking them. You are not doing any harm to them. Okay, place the same aspect to demons and stuff like that. When you are ministering to people, when you are getting people saved and stuff like that, when you are leading people to God, you are fighting against the kingdom of hell. So why do people believe that demons, you can fight against the kingdom of hell, but you really should not be getting attacked back, which is crazy to think that way. You may not get attacked as much. Why? Because you may not be doing much for God. You may be having trouble staying saved. You may be constantly in sin all the time. This is the reason why you may not get attacked as much. Because the more that you attack the kingdom of hell, the more they are going to attack back. Does that make any sense? So, you can pray. I am not saying that you should not pray. You should always pray. But the more that you attack, the more you get closer to God and elevate more in God, the more that demons are going to attack you. That is just the way that things are going to be. So you can't say to a person that is constantly getting attacked when they are doing right by God, you can't say, well, just pray about it. Well, of course. But to think that the attacks are going to decrease while you are consistently fighting against the kingdom of hell, that does not sound right. You are not getting attacked as much, perhaps, because you are having trouble doing the basic things. And I am not saying that I am better than you or anything like that because I don't care about that stuff. I want everybody to get close to God. Because in the past, I did not get attacked that much either, every so often. But the closer I got with God, like almost every single day, and it is a pain 
in the butt big time <laughs> but what can you do of course pray and fast yes okay so we are going to read about what Paul the Apostle Paul had to go through and the Apostle Paul wrote most of the New Testament and many of us has not gone through what Paul has gone through why because Paul was doing so much teaching people doing so much leading people to God and this is one of many reasons why he was persecuted by demons so much because when you work for God and get people saved and stuff like that you better believe that demons are going to be at your heels like I was telling some other people I get more demonic dreams and stuff like that than I get I get more of those than dreams about angels and good dreams and stuff like that by far let me say that 95 or 98 percent of the time my dreams and all of that stuff is bad and maybe 5% or less, my dreams and visions and stuff like that are good. Less than 5%, I believe. And uh, it is really a pain. So let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24 through 27. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Give me a second. So of the Jews, five times received I forty stripes, save one. 25. Thrice was I beaten with rods. Once was I stoned. Thrice I suffered shipwreck. A night and a day I have been in the deep and journeyings often in perils of water, in perils of robbers, in perils by mine own, countrymen in perils by the heathen in perils, in the city in perils, in the wilderness, in perils in the sea, in perils among false brethren. 27. In weakness and painfulness, in watchings often, in hunger and thirst, in fastings often, in cold and nakedness. So let me read in the expanded Bible. Five times the Jews have given me their punishment of 39 lashes with a whip. Imagine being hit with a whip 39 times. <laughs> Crazy. Okay, 25. Three different times I was beaten with rods. One time I was almost stoned to death. Three times I was in ships that wrecked. And one of those times I spent a night and a day in the sea. Can most of us take this? I don't think so. 26. I don't think I could to be honest with you. 26. Come on now. I have gone on many travels and have been in danger from rivers, from thieves, from my own people, and from the Gentiles. I have been in danger in cities, in places where no one lives, and on the sea. And I have been in danger with false Christians. 27. I have done hard and tiring work, and many times I did not sleep. I have been thirsty, I have been hungry and thirsty, 
and many times I have been without food. I have been cold and without clothes. So, <laughs> as you can see here, many of us would not be able to take this. And Paul was a great man of God, way better than almost all of us. So if Paul was going through these things, and we believe that, or some people believe that when you live for God, your troubles are over, you are sorely mistaken, obviously. Paul was leading so many people to God. Getting people saved and stuff like that. Wrote most of the New Testament. Made more accomplishments than almost all of us. And some people believe that when you live for God, you should not feel any pain or go through any bad things that is not right so like I said before the more that you attack the kingdom of hell the more that they are going to attack back as you can see Paul was attacking the kingdom of hell and what did they do they attacked back so it is not a strange thing for a person who serves God to get into trouble or to have problems and stuff like that. Because demons don't like when people are preaching, ministering, or getting people to come to God. That should make sense, right? If you fight against the kingdom, or if you are declaring war against the kingdom, why do some people believe that that kingdom is not going to fight back? <laughs> Something to think about. They are going to fight back, whether you want them to or not. So, when you say that you want to prophesy, and you want to heal people, you want to do this, you want to do that for God, those are great things, but what you have to see also, when you do those things, you are fighting against the kingdom of hell. So you may say that you want to do all of these great things, you want all of these gifts and stuff like that from God. That is good, but you have to understand that comes with a price. The more power you operate in, the more demons are going to persecute you, which you should not be afraid of. But some people may have fell back into sin because they was operating in so much power that they may not have been able to take all of the persecution and they fell back into sin. So think about that. Like you ask God for all of these great things, which is okay, but for every good thing, let me not say that because people are going to misunderstand me and <laughs> when God gives you something great, especially like a strong gift to teach, to preach, to prophesy and stuff like that, and let's say that you influence or change so many people's lives, you have to understand that <laughs> demons are going to be at your heels. They are coming after you, for sure. So why aren't they attacking this person here, you know, this person here, but they are attacking this person more? Okay, 
chances are this person here may not be operating in that much power in God. This person here may be operating more in power or doing more things for God. Let me say this. Who would you attack first? The person who is constantly attacking you or a person who is attacking you every six days? You would attack the person the most who is attacking you the most, right? Because why would you attack the people who is only attacking you every six days? Make sense? So that should give you a good idea of why you may not be getting attacked much because you are not attacking. <laughs> you are not attacking. Does that make any sense? The more you the more you attack and the stronger you attack, okay? the stronger demons are going to attack. So the more you attack, the more often they are going to attack. <laughs> so really be careful of what you pray for. Really be careful. Because God may answer that prayer and you will or may regret asking God for whatever you are asking God for. Think about that. So, let me stop there. I really hope all of this makes sense because I don't want to confuse anyone. I try to make my teaching very basic. I don't want to act like, you know, I'm this great person, you know, using big words and stuff like that. No. I like to make things really simple. At least I try to. <laughs> okay, guys and females, God bless.